is the uh, the monument for the women chain makers, and it's come from being a clay model of about two foot tall. It's been scanned by the same people that do the sort of scanning from Adam to swords, and turned into foam uh, in life size. And then what we do is cut the foam up, cast that in sand, and pour the steel into that, chop that up into loads of little bits, and weld it up like that. And then after that, what happens is it just gets polished, rusted, uh, takes a site, and then wax it, and then it will be uh, the open day. I think one of the things that, that has attracted so much attention is that it is a chain making monument, and this is such a famous town for chain making. It's got nothing thus far that says that that was its major industry, so this is something which will hopefully put it on the map. There's not been a monument built like this ever, yeah. um, which is why it's so heavy. It's nearly three and a half tons. Uh, the piece itself. It's ca uh, cast steel, it's nearly solid. The figure herself is, uh, is more of a symbol of the female chain makers themselves and their strike. Scantily clad because they used to feed their, they used to sort of strap their babies to their chest while they were making a chain. They were quite famous for that. The figures are all based on my family and also a couple of local chain makers who are friends. So this is my auntie and that's my nan. And that's uh, my granddad Eric, who's buried in uh, the uh, Homer Hill Cemetery just behind us, so we can see him. That's my mum, who's uh, the sort of steadfast Mary MacArthur. And that's uh, my wife Nats. And then on the far right are Annette and Saran Bradley, who are local chain makers, and uh, they, they are pretty representative, I think, of the, the sort of women chain makers that would have been here on the day. Today, it is 100 years since the Workers' Institute built here in these gardens with monies left over from the strike was first opened to the public. The Mayor and Mayoress of Sandwell, Councillors Keith and Pat Davis. The portrait of Mary MacArthur will certainly be in the public library. I'd just like to say that this, the monument and the surroundings and everything that went into it has been a colossal amount of effort from so many people and the amount of time that's gone into it and physical labour as well that I'd like to thank everyone involved.